styling, the redesigned interior with upgraded materials, and a whole bunch of new driver's assistance features and systems. And for the first time on the Saab One S6 in a host of new connected features. All for great value. And I see young ladies smiling at me and you would like the smartphone integration, I can tell you. <laughs> you know, I'm happy to announce that for the first time, this is the Golf R-Line and the Passat R-Line. So for the first time, the Passat family will have a very sporty model at a very, very attractive price. You know, $25,000 by the way. So let's take a closer look at the Passat. I will start with the front. Slimmer headlights. Slimmer headlights, more substantial four-bar grille, and, and you see here on how the chrome goes around. Oh god, I go wrong. I have to stay here. I'm, I'm too excited for the car, sorry. And the new look gives the facade a more dynamic feel. The premium look and styling carries around and over to the rear of the facade, for instance, now with standard full chrome window surrounds. The car has a new rear bumper, entirely new rear bumper. Trunk lid and tail lights, for instance, these rear reflectors are completely new. You look, see the diffuser, you see the lights, and you see this very cool chrome stripe, which makes the whole car sit a little bit better and, from my point of view, looks a little bit premium as well. And for the first time available on the facade, LED front and tail lights. A little bit late, but we are there and they look beautiful. These provide better lighting performance with reduced energy consumption and they just look great. The new 2016 Passat gets a much more premium look and feel and has a completely refined interior. Upgraded materials, new dash, new steering wheel, two-tone decor panels, refined chrome, piano, black trim and so forth. The new instrument panel features two large gauges and a center stack that sends works on the second generation and now we get to this modular infotainment platform. It's called MIB, like Men in Black, but I'm just getting on. So the 2016 Passat has standard touch screens, full color displays, and the whole systems are much, much faster and higher resolution. Touch sensor similar to smartphone and tablet technology, enabling gesture controls like swiping or pitch zooming. USB Bluetooth connectivity are also standard, so finally the brand box are like mostly Bluetooth and to USB in this market already an achievement. So this serves as the foundation of the Volkswagen development CarNet. CarNet is one of the best systems for connected legal services and features available in the automotive industry today. For instance, crash notification, for instance, the dealer can send legal hand reports to get the rights and the things done in service. And it includes our latest app connect technology, which features the three major smartphone integration platforms. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Mirrorlink. And this is how App Connect allows seamless integration with more than 90% of available smartphones in this market. And I can tell you, one of my sons has a Samsung, I have an Apple, and we are both excited. And how it really works, it's great. Which is not in the script up there, by the way. So, for the uh, new Passat, it offers the whole combination of new drivers and driver's assistance systems take some time to read this off. Automatic post-collision braking system, standard on all the side models. The system helps by applying the brakes after primary collision, helping to reduce the change of additional damage. We are confident that we will get top safety ratings with this car. Furthermore, the side models come equipped with the following advanced driver's assistance system, adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning and autonomous emergency braking, blind spot monitor rear traffic alert, Lane departure warning will actively steer the car back into the lane. So I don't suggest you text while driving, but for the rest it's much safer. Under the hood, the Passat maintains all the proven powertrains, the TSI, the TDI, and the V6. In addition, it continues to have glass reading interior space and truck. This vehicle will hit the showrooms in the end of the last quarter of this year, so well, in the middle of the last quarter. And I'm happy, very happy to say, that the Passat has made a very affordable entry price at exactly the same level as the Model Year 15 Passat. So, 1.8S automatic starts at $22,440. That's exactly the same price as the Model Year 15. 
with all, all of these features, but everything in the customer gets additional value per car of minimum $1,200. And now you can import. So, and, and, and looking at this great car, and looking at those great cars there, you know, it's built by Americans in America for Americans. And I would like to put this really into perspective. You know, the United States is very important to Volkswagen. We have more than 5 million customers on the road driving our cars. And more than 5 million customers are visiting our Sherwood workshops every year. Our dealers, you know, 650 dealers in this country have over 30,000 employees. Our, employees, our suppliers, another 10,000 people here in America. And we have more than 6,000 in our facilities in Virginia, Tennessee, Michigan, California, wherever, more than 50 locations which we have here. And this is a great responsibility. And we must do this in order. Oh, you do it too fast, you just go back. And all these people, whether it's our customers, dealer families, our employees and their families, depend on us to run a successful business here with high ethical standards. We must do this in order to carry out our responsibilities to all of our stakeholders. My commitment, first and foremost, is to make sure that our entire company does what it takes to resolve this big challenge and to restore your trust. Our future depends on turning this into an opportunity to learn, to improve, and we are then committed to do so. And I'm confident, and I'm personally committed, that this company will do what it needs to be done to make things right. To make things right. And, you know, on a personal note, when I was 18, my first car was a Golf, and the stereo was more valuable than the whole car. When I, then I bought a Golf convertible, then I bought a GTI. Then I went to the US to study and live here. And now I'm back 25 years working for this company. And you can be sure that we will continue not only to correct this TDI issue and to straighten things out and to pay what we have to pay, but we will continue to work very hard to make our story here in the US for the customers, our dealers and employees to be successful. Thank you very much for coming. Enjoy the evening. Up next is Lenny Trimmons.